Every grab said no. Taxis said no. They were like, well, if you hire us for many hours, maybe if I can get up there. So we were like, what are we gonna do? We were so confused. We checked Facebook and everybody's like, nope, no drivers today, no drivers today. So we found this trike driver here and he's gonna take us up the mountain and he's gonna wait. It sounds like it would be hard to get back down. So we're gonna go up there and uh, yeah, have them wait for us. Uh, unfortunately, the driver misunderstood and took us to the temple of, or Taoist temple instead. Uh, so we almost tried, almost tried. but you're not allowed, only four wheel vehicles are allowed past security here and you can't walk. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so they're like, wait for a taxi maybe, and you can go through. Um, but this would be the wrong temple as well. Yeah, not sure what to do now, because we're up here. So we'll figure something out. Alberto has saved us. He saved the day. Hello, Alberto. Yeah. He's going to take us up there, and he's going to wait for us, and then he's going to bring us back down. Yes. And we are so happy happy so so happy that we met alberto thank you. yes temple of leah thank you Well, well, well. Welcome. Welcome to the temple of Leah. Mabuhai. Kamusta. From up high. Yes, exactly. Oh. Right? And Mabuhai, long life. Look at this kind of long life. Although this looks like we are in Rome, we are not. Um, this temple is actually, well, still under renovations now but uh, was only completed in 2012. 10 years ago. Wow. 10 years. So not thousands of years old. Even though they've styled it to be. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. 100 pesos to come in here. Are you kidding me? 100 pesos. And this place is gorgeous. So let's go take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's, let's, let's explore. do it. First of all, it is so much cooler up here. It is, it is. The mountain weather, air. mountain yeah. air is very refreshing. So yeah. it's really nice. Cause even this morning it was sweltering. So this is a good change. You see the clouds rolling over the trees here. Yeah, the clouds are quite low or we're just really high. Yeah, maybe.
the most epic toga party here one day. Okay, I know I'm gonna probably need lots of money for it. But one day, guys, we're gonna have a cool toga party. You can only wear a toga if you wanna come in. It might be many years from now. Yeah. Many, many, many years. Many, <laughs> many. Uh, I love the statues at each one of these. I know, they're so good. All oh. the way around. This is like my dream house. And by the way, other than staff, I think we're the only people here. I feel like you're right. I don't know if that's going to be part of this or not. It's quite pretty. I believe all of that, though, is part of it. It's just one of the original construction and it's been weathered. But there's so much even down below when we were coming in that we're going to have to somehow yes, go and wall. take a look. It's full of, of uh, uh, statues and stuff like that. Are they lamps? Where's the light in front of it? Oh! They do look like lamps. Maybe those are just the solar detectors. Oh! It's extra. Yeah. You can see they're repairing a restaurant. This place is open till midnight, so I bet it's a whole different experience if you came here at night. Yes, that would be really cool. Right? Well, and at midnight, that's really late, so they must have like really, really cool lighting, but then also um, maybe some drinks and stuff. I don't know. Maybe parties? Got the lions on both sides. I wonder if it's like the European thing that says you are mortgage free. I believe this costs billions upon billions of pesos and uh, therefore uh, I don't think they have a mortgage. Moving a fancy piano. Yeah, they're moving a large piano right now as we speak. Those are the figurines I want to collect. They might be very valuable. Just a guess. Oh, there's more in here as well. Yeah. Whoa! Look how, hey, look how big these pillars are. Like, I it might look like this building is small, but look, I'm a marble hugger. Yeah. Are you cheating on me? You cheating on me with some marble? It's all about the size, isn't it? It's not the motion of the ocean. Not here, at least. <laughs> I'm scared to go in. I feel like... You know whenever you walk down the glass aisle you know of the supermarket, say. you're like... You break, you break it, you, it, you buy it. it. I feel like I'll have to sell a couple kidneys. All my kidneys. Every kidney. That's how they make to, money, honey. Yeah. They're, oops. Oops, you broke this vase. Well, now you're in debt to us. Ha ha ha. Oh, you can see they're working on some stuff here. Whoa. Back end. Spider. Oh, yeah. He's a big boy. Wait, is that all? Yeah, he's not that big actually. Not the Philippine standards. Just saying. Oh, lots of pianos here. This is where they're moving it.
Oh, nobody else lives here, just spiders. When you think of marriage, 53 years of marriage, complete love and adoration, what do you think of? Well, for Tio de Riccio, he thought of everything, everything he had to give, and he built this massive temple for Leah, his wife. Within this area, there are 24 different rooms, and each room is propagated by the things they collected during their marriage and their life together. And he built this as a memento, as a way to celebrate her life and to celebrate his now past wife. He began this in 2012, and he built it so that it would last a millennium. And, wow, can anybody else say that they have done this for their wife. I guess we don't all have this kind of money, clearly. But this is absolutely beautiful, and what this man has done for his late wife is absolutely beautiful as well. Wow. And it's lovely that we get to see it, you know? And then open it to the public, yeah. interesting thing about this is the faces kind of almost look photorealistic and then when you look over here you kind of see the resemblance and it's the same faces in each pose and so it makes me feel like that's very likely her in each of these stained glass windows. You cannot get inside here, but this is how you can uh, take a look. They open each area up to the outside. Here's an idea for you. Yeah. Thank you so much, you Salamat. So and uh, yeah, impressive as heck. Just, just dreaming, seconds. just dreaming, yeah. right? You could build a house like this to live in, not just as a monument, and then open it to the public with a low uh, entrance fee. Right? Like yeah. this is just a magical thing to experience. And for so cheap, it's really, really nice. Yeah. It's a good day trip. Yeah, most tourist places would be charging at least double, a if portion, not triple this. Yeah. yeah.